Hi, and welcome back to Brentech IT Support. Today, we'll be looking at an unboxing and setting up of the new Govi Lyra floor lamp. And it's a very interesting design with a single spread of multicolored RGB lights that will go up and down the strip and then bounce off the wall to give the ambient light. So this should be a nice fun one to do and it is a smart light as well and I believe also can dance to the music as well. We'll get on with the unboxing. So start off just by pulling the open tab. And top we get some information, user manuals. Top box is the power brick, screwdriver, some screws, a magnetic controller and clamp so you can clip it to the stand. This feels like it will be a series of light poles. We have a series of U-channel aluminium metal strips for holding the LED lights in. the RGB strip light. And then we have the power base. There's a fair weight to that. Obviously we're gonna to have to start assembling this. The base is rubberized, so if you have laminate flooring, it won't scratch the floor. Okay, the first thing you want to do is obviously get your little screwdriver from their set. And find the one to start off with from the bottom. Now, these three are all slightly different. You've got one piece which has an end cap, which is the top. So you know that will be at the top, so you can put that to one side. But then you need to take note of what these ones are. This one has some extra nuts in there, which are the screw threads. So this is actually gonna be the bottom piece. So you take that one out and get that ready to insert there. So the middle piece, again, we can put to one side. So turn that up the right way. And so we can slide that in to here and line it up with the screw holes there. And you're gonna to need to use the short screws for the inside of that. So open up your short screw pack. And then screw those into place on the actual pole itself. So just line it up there and screw it in. And so now that one will be ready to slide into there, but you can put all of those on first and then slowly assemble them. So we'll do that quickly. And we can pre-assemble these ones as well. So we'll slide the top to the middle one. And then again, using the short screws to hold that together. Now I would actually put this one either separately as one stage at a time or a longer one. I'm gonna do that one after I've put this one in. Now this one uses the longer screws. So first of all, be careful not to trap your wires. Slide this down 
into place. And now get your packet of longer screws. And that's going to be two of them. And put those in the back of your base. Don't over any tight anything, just make sure they're nice and snug and be careful not to cross the thread. If you do cross the thread, just back it off, keep going until you hear it click, and then you know you've got it lined up. If at all the screw feels too stiff as you're putting in, the chances are you have cross threaded it, so just back it off and try again. Now we'll put this on the floor so we can bring in the top piece and again slide that in and we can put in the last two for here. So that is the upright pole now constructed. Now we do have four short screws and two long screws left over. The extra screws are actually spare screws that they're giving you. So keep the four short ones and two long ones in a packet to one side. Maybe you want to get a Ziploc bag or get some sellotape and just keep that. So they're spares in case you lose anything. The clip, that can just be clipped onto the back of here if you want to do it, but then this would be seen. So you may not want to keep it on there or it's up to you where you want to store that. But the idea is that you can just clip that on and have the remote attached to the back of the light. But as it's such a slim, slender design, I'd probably rather just keep that in the drawer uh, next to your sofa or something. So we'll come back to that later. Then you come to your strip light and you just open up the packet. And you just pull that out and get rid of the packaging. And then you need to connect your push fit connector to the wire at the bottom of this. So hopefully I will have enough room to have this all in one place. So we get our connector at both ends. They're all color coded, so you just line them up and push it in home. And then what you just do is you tack it behind the strip light and then you can feed the rubber strip into the groove and just carefully persuade it in. Be careful not to trap the wires. So you may just need to keep an eye on that as you push this in. And push it down so it lines up to the very bottom. But once you've got it started, it then does start going in a lot easier and you can just work your way up the whole pole. When it comes to getting the top part in, it's best to just bend the top in, place it under the bracket top mount first, and then again start squeezing it in. So you want to start this from the top and bottom, and now you can start pushing it in and then work your way back down and then you'll meet up to where you got up to when you started at the bottom. And just smooth out, make sure it's nice and tight at the top and tight to the bottom as well. Before you plug this in, you might as well get the remote set up. So we open up the packet, pull out the tab, and that's the remote good to go. There is a coin cell battery in the back and you just need to use a two pence coin and it actually does tell you it is the CR2025 pen cell battery which is quite a standard one so there's the ones to replace it but that'll last a good long time and you've got all your controls at the front. Once you've got the light fully pressed home nice and snug you can then get the power supply ready which is just simply undo your cable to have a long you're going to need to open this too. Plug in there, and then plug that into the wall socket and turn it on, and then it'll be ready for setting up the smartphone app and connecting it to the Wi-Fi network. 
as you can control it from your smartphone. On this converter block, it's actually got a little microphone in here so it can pick up ambient sound. So when you've got music playing, you can put it on disco mode and then it will, the lights will flash and dance to the music that you've got playing. Some of the reviews have some information about the lights where people say that they're too bright and glary because the idea is that it's meant to bounce, this is meant to be facing the wall and bounce off the wall and then you get the reflection of the light. But I can see why people get it wrong because on the bottom you've got the Gobi logo at the front so this looks like it's the front with the light facing out and when you turn it around you have the screws showing and the cable coming out back whereas you'd expect the cable to be coming out this side with the label here if this is meant to be the side facing into the room um, okay you can't hide those screws but they are the only screws that are there and the rest of it's just quite neat join lines up the pole and then the light reflects off the wall which makes sense so maybe it's designed for personal choice on which way around you want to face it but the top doesn't rotate so there is only one way you can actually set the base and the light to face the room as soon as you plug it in it turns on and now we can, can we can control it from the remote so you've also got your power switch and you've got your go by audio so if we have some okay just even with the voice it will start flashing away so that's great turn that off and then it goes to it cycles through different types of audio detect party modes so as again yep yeah, okay as we talk we can see it flashing away you can select a color using the color button and it will then hold on a particular color so you can cycle through all their different colors you can adjust if you want it a warmer color or a cooler color and you can have it either a dimmer light or you can brighten it as well so I'll face it against the wall now so we can see how it looks when it's reflecting off and I'll turn the studio lights off. I've had to leave the studio lights on because the contrast really went very bad, um, obviously just being backlit. So hopefully we can try it this way and still show how the lights work. We will dim the light to its lower setting, which goes all the way off and then we can slowly increment it and it does give a lovely halo effect. We've got a cool white and we can make it a warmer white as well. So it goes more to the yellows and then we can choose the colors and again just cycle through those and again we've got the disco audio lights where we can choose the different patterns it has for that and we can make them brighter or duller so you've got a whole choice of how you want your lighting to be and it does produce a lovely effect I do think it's probably going to be best to have it face the wall and then have it reflect the light it gives a very unusual but contemporary light because you don't see where the light is coming from as such it, it looks like it's it is it is just bouncing off the wall but having a lovely thin stick just in the corner that the light emanates from around it is a really really nice effect and i think this could be a really nice talking piece in your living room you go to the govi app from your app store and then you log in if you've already got an account if you haven't you will have to go to login and then create new account and type in your details. You've got to use your email verification, so you've got to check your email. You can then create your password. It then gives us a choice to become a member of something, so you can choose to become that or not. We might as well try it because we will be going through more of their items and then you can sign up to that and come back and now we're logged into it we can now come home and come home and add new devices and we need to look for the light in the app list
or you can just search for it. There are different versions. There's the 7.2 and the 7.6. We have got the 7.2 and we can have it access our location. Select the lamp and it is now connecting via Bluetooth as well. Give it a device name. And we'll call it Living Party Light. Now we connect it to our Wi-Fi. As it only supports 2G network, make sure you connect to a 2G only network. If you've got a bonded one, you'll have to rely on it, mapping it properly. So be aware that sometimes there are issues when they are connecting via a 2G, 5G bonded Wi-Fi network. So try and have a smart home network, which only deals with 2G devices. And now it's connected, we can start pairing. So we need to get our remote and keep that with us. And press the music button. And now it's again gone to a different disco mode. And now we've got the full effect of different versions does have a firmware update, so we can update that now or later. We might as well do the update, see how long that takes. Okay, that has now restarted, and we've got the light working in the background again. Uh, again, it's on music mode. We have a color option, and you can choose to have the colors different colors at different points. So we can select top one and make it red. The second one, make it yellow and you can control the color you want to have by the looks of it or independent bits. So yeah, you can choose how you make a static color array of lights if you wish. Um, you've got scenes that you can play with, um, a DIY paint set, which might be interesting to play with, but a whole host of things to play with there. Um, so it's how you wish to have it set up. It's certainly a very fun set of lights to have, and it works very well. I do hope you enjoyed the quick video about our Gobi Floor Liar Lamp. If you do want to get yourself one, there will be for a link for it in the description down below. It's a lovely, lovely centre talking piece. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a good like, comment, thumbs up, and always subscribe. We do appreciate all of our viewers and all the comments we do get. Uh, we will be having this one set up in our living room, so do ask us questions about how we're getting on with it later on as well and we'll be very happy to give you guys more feedback on it. All the best, take care, bye for now.